Hey yo yo. Yo check it. This my special attack. A hundred swords, a hundred episodes, and here's to a hundred more. Who got next? Place your change on the cabinet. Air combo university graduates juggle my enemies before tagging in the masters hero. Pros in action, toe tagging champions getting active. The message will always get near you. Return to the dream team, Spider-Man and Strider hear you When the mask is on, I can't promise I clap to keep his glasses on The handshake was potent, the inner glow shown as a mega optic blast Trailing behind the Shinku Adoken, how you gon' dodge both of them? Blast you down to the last atom, best regards from the proton cannon you couldn't fathom If you were raised on gaming and put a controller up I'm old enough to study the meta before I bless you We understood space in the dash clean Now we need to adjust and warm poster right next to the pro athletes Final justice like a primary lotus from out the sky Stars and stripes reminding you racism is still alive Life. Bring a plasma sword to a gunfight Hayato, bring a hurricane kick Tatsumaki Sentaku One time for all my otakus who played the console Till their eyes closing, probably forgot to study for their finals Welcome to the sword cast, sword cast My word play, my sword play when blades clash Welcome to the sword cast, sword cast My word play, my sword play when blades clash Welcome to the sword cast, sword cast My word play, my sword play when blades clash That nigga Akuma is a actual demon with superpowers and fire coming out of his hands. And Kazuya is an actual devil with goddamn laser eyes. <laughs> Yujiro finna do his back flex and then he gonna get folded. Yeah, that's facts. He's like he's like s- superhuman and and beyond even, but these are like god tier. I would put I would put Yujiro's level of also, I think it's real whack in the. I think I haven't finished the. I think I kind of cheated and spoiled myself on the Baki manga. Have you? Did you complete the manga? Uh, the but I read a lot of it. It's hard to find it because it's not. You can't ever. You can't find hard copies at all in America. Right. So you have to read it online. From what I understand, he like never beats his dad. His dad just gets the last laugh like forever. Always. He Which never is beats his dad. like, what are we doing here? Like, is this Baki or is it the Yujiro <laughs> show? Like, <laughs> Um, I don't know. Is it one piece or is it right. forever and ever and ever never ending? I would put his Yujiro superhuman level at like, like Captain America or like Spider Man maybe in terms of like strength. Although Spider Man is a lot stronger than Captain America, so somewhere yeah, in between sucks, there. So yeah. But like Akuma and Devil Jin are like fucking. I, I don't know. Like the niggas could destroy the planet if they if they wanted to. Like. Yo, Akuma sl- like karate chopped the island off of a, off of a <laughs> continent. Like, like, I'm sorry, like that nigga is punching oh, Yujiro in his face, and and that'll be it. That's hilarious. We recording, by the way. I feel like Yujiro wash cap though. I don't think he could be Spider Man, but I think he could be. Best, I'm, I I buy that. Strength is probably. He got more he tech, obviously, fine. than. Then cap for sure. Uh, yeah. Recording. Oh, we're back, man. It's been a while. <clears throat> yeah. Some, you know, just had some some personal stuff going on, but we're back. Swordcast has yes, sir. returned. Uh, it has begun. Yes, sir. Uh, Lou, <laughs> your soul is mine. <laughs> I love that movie. That bro. movie is so good. And so my, dog, I say this every time. My favorite scene is in Mortal Kombat One, where they're at the the <laughs> they're at the fucking banquet, and that one dude is just oh, trying man. to fight uh, Sub Zero, <laughs> and he's making them weird ass kios, bro. <laughs> 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 He start flexing. Freaky. And then he just freezes. Then he get his shit exploded because Sub Zero's. Yo, it's stomping out. Jack. Oh my god, bro! Literal. He was. He was like. It, it's like he jumped him like on some yeah, hood shit. It was crazy. Stomping um, that man out. I always, 
Every time we talk, bring that movie up, I, I always tell the same exact story. Most random double feature of my <laughs> entire life when I was a kid. My uncle took me, my brother, and my cousins to see Pocahontas. Love it. Slash Mortal Kombat and a double feature at the movie theater in Detroit. So. Boom. I, I Was it, let me guess, it was uh, the well, what used to be the AMC Bel Air on 8 Mile? Mm-hmm. Of Detroit. course it was. Me and Emmy used to go there all the time, dog. Yep. Good times. Yes, sir. Uh, we're back, man. I think this is episode 145. Sure. Whatever. Uh, sure. Uh, what are you into currently, man? It's been a while. Dog. Been a couple weeks. Yes. And I've been into a lot of things since then, but you know what the fuck I've been into? Uh-oh. Dog, you niggas tried to tell me oh, no. that this was a weak-ass game I... because y'all had one, heard one line of dialogue on Twitter. And forgot that the Marvel movies do the same sort of tongue in cheek silly comments. Well, you know why people didn't like the game. <laughs> I mean, black, I black. guess. You Look, bro. I've been playing for Spoken, dog. I platinumed it. I put like 75 hours in it. The game is good. Like, fuck off. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Now there's legitimate things to criticize about the game, right? Like I think that the draw like some of the like the character graphics, um, like the the character models aren't super crisp at mm-hmm. times. Um the like story is fine. Like it ain't it's not a like Last of Us or like you know, even like Mass Effect or or Cyberpunk, like it's not the story isn't isn't what you play it for, but it's not a bad story. It's just kind of fine. It's it's standard. It's fine. Um, but and, you know, and definitely, there's definitely. I'm not. I, I wasn't like offended by the dialogue at all. Like, uh, but there are some ass on moments for sure. Frey, <laughs> Frey definitely had her ass stapled on a couple of times in a couple <laughs> scenes. <laughs> Um, but you know, it wasn't, it wasn't game breaking, right? Like had I not th- heard people complaining about that earlier, I wouldn't have even noticed it. I wouldn't, it would have been like, oh, this is a video game that has a, f- a weird script because most video games dialogue is trash, right. right? Like kingdom hearts, awful, awful dialogue. Any, any anime game that is like an anime style dub or even in Japanese, like it's just like, it's just melodrama, right? Like none of it is good. Um, <clears throat> so there's the legitimate things to criticize about it, but we're not finna criticize Frey. We're not finna criticize this badass black girl magic, awesome like witch. I, I, I she's not technically a witch. She's like a goddess kind of, but you you'll play it and you find out. Um, but like the the things that the game gets right, bro. The traversal, the way that she can like parkour and use her magical like running speed, is super Sweet. super dope. Um, and look, bro. It's me. I hate magic. <laughs> but I'll be goddamned if that's not like some of the coldest combat ever. Like the way the combat system works. So it's are you going to play the Harry Potter game? Uh yeah, I think I'm going to play the I, I'm going I don't know anything about Harry Potter, so but you like magic. Got it. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on a second. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh I have to I have to think about that. <laughs> I think I don't like uh, I talked about this before. The only reason why I didn't like magic is because all the stuff that had magic in it didn't have no black people in it. That's facts. That was really it wasn't really about magic. It was just about like the stuff that you find magic just didn't have any representation in it. So now that now that we got some magical ass black women and some magical ass black people, I I'll allow it. You know, and it's you know, like and the way they do it with Frey is super dope. Not only is it very black, it's also um, I mean, Frey is not like Detroit, like West Side Black, but like she is very easily identi- identifiable as a as a black woman. But the way that they do like the power sets is very dope. Like it's based in like femininity, and that like the way or I shouldn't I shouldn't gender this, but it's based on uh like like how you you can go through the world and unlock different nail designs, and in the lore. Like the way that if you have like magical blood and you use your magical blood to paint your nails in these interesting ways, it like amplifies your power. That's cool. So that's like how your your like power ups are all done from like getting a new nail design. And it's kind of like I'm I'm not a person who's knows shit about decorating <laughs> your nails, but it right. seemed like a pretty clever concept. 
Or but, do you know <coughs> about decorating your nails? Nope. <laughs> uh, nope. But uh, but it was man like the action. I still say to this day, even though the game itself wasn't that great, uh, Mass Effect Andromeda has the best third person like ma- sci-fi combat ever. This game comes close, bro. Close. It comes close. Like she's got four different power sets. She's got like fire. Po- she's got earth power. She's kind of she's sort of an avatar a little bit. She's got earth power, um, <clears throat> where she can like bend we need a materials. Good avatar game. This would be a good place to like to base the engine off of. We really I think. Need a good Avatar game. They made this. Uh, they made this Legend of Korra game years ago, mm. years and years ago. It was fun, and, and the way that the bending worked was really dope. It was cool. You could like cycle between the different four. You could blend them together. So that's what she does. And that game was really dope. We need a good like g- quality, like big title, uh, like Avatar game. No doubt, and, and you know what they need to do. You need to be able to create yes your own character. No question. Choose what what element what element you would are, try what tribe you're from. Yeah, and, and uh, you know what I'm saying. They need to do that. That would be an amazing game. It, they might when you know Avatar's picking speed, picking up more steam. More steam coming back out and stuff. So. But yeah, so that's how Frey does her power. She's got four power sets. She's got Earth power. She's got where she can like control plants and like rocks and minerals. Um, she's got fire where she can like make a so like a fire blade and like and she, and she even has like a fire bender kick where she like kicks flames out of nigga like literally. And then she's got like a water bending, like where she shoots like water arrows at you. And then she's got technically this would be in the Avatar world, it will still be fire, but she can do like electric electric stuff as well. Um, and the electric shit is dope because it's it's like light, so you can use it to like confuse people. You can use it to make yourself invisible. You can use it to like strike people down with lightning bolts. I mean, she's literally. There are moments where she looks like Storm out I was there. Say, she sounds like a pretty strong. Oh no, character. she. Yeah, Frey, like fully unlocked Frey. Give me your give me your top female Marvel character <laughs> and she is gonna wash them. Like she she's like an Omega level mutant yeah, level okay. strength. Like imagine oh. Storm and like the Fe- nah, not quite the Phoenix, but like Storm and Pyro and Iceman and I don't know, whoever the fuck can and like Swamp Thing all right. put together. And all like at like Omega levels. She's a fucking monster, bro. So yeah, Forspoken, good. Fuck off. I'd give it probably. It wasn't perfect. Like I had legitimate grief, b- beef with some of the shit, but was it as like an awful like you know game that should never have come out? No, of course not. Absolutely not. I would probably give it an eight out of ten. Good game. What you been up to? Um, I've been you know I actually been <laughs> I've been watching a crap ton of wrestling. Mm-hmm. Um, I've been watching a lot of wrestling, man, um, and I've been kind of like going back and checking out some of the '90s all Japan stuff. So my favorite, um, my favorite era in pro wrestling history is <coughs> two thousand. Your microphone, my bad. It was oh, down thanks. too low. Oh, okay, thanks. Um, so my my favorite era in in pro wrestling history has always been uh, 2010s New Japan, right? So this is like just the the rise of like Hiroshi Tanahashi and Okada being this unbeatable champ. Hold on a second, my bad. <clears throat> All right, go ahead. Yes. I, I can't hear myself. Yep. Okay, there we go. Uh, but yeah, 2010s New Japan has always been my favorite um, era of wrestling, and just you know, like the rise of Hiroshi Tanahashi, and then the the just Okada being this new star and this like unbeatable champion, having all these insane matches, and mm-hmm. Kenny Omega's come up, and the Bullet Club, and. Um, you know, just and then like the crazy junior scene where Will Ospreay came from, and now he then he became this this big star and Shingo and Tetsu Naito and you know Kota Ibushi and Shibata mm-hmm. and Ishii and like that whole era of <coughs> New Japan, uh, Hiroki Goto, Zack Sabre Jr. That whole era of New Japan, uh, Shinsuke Nakamura, you know, mm-hmm. uh, just insane, insane, insane. That's my favorite. The wrestler that wrestling. we used to like named AJ Styles. <laughs> AJ Styles, yep. Um, but um, you know, that whole p- 
period of New Japan is, is in my opinion, that's my favorite era. But one, you know, I've pretty much, I'm pretty much, you know, well versed and have seen just about everything from every era of pro wrestling that you know i think is relevant to me right like even the 80s and and 90s stuff like i love 90s new japan stuff and i love 90s you know early wcw stuff and i like 90s wwf stuff and you know um and even uh you know 2000s love 2000s was like the start of you know me watching uh, like ring of honor and stuff like that and then <coughs> But one one thing, one period of wrestling that I always knew about, I knew about the wrestlers that were there, and but I just never really like dove into it because it's it's just people people that are fans of '90s All Japan, they really like say it's like untouchable and mm-hmm. it's like the greatest, you know. So I've always been kind of like a little standoffish at checking it out. I've and like I said, I've seen a couple of the matches, but I never really dove into like the the storylines and like what was going on like um but i've been watching a lot of 90s all japan and this this slaps man the uh, king's roll style that's kind of the style that's the name of the style that they wrestle uh some legends man mitsuharu masawa kenta kabashi toshiaki kawada um really dope man it's the these matches are insane uh for them especially for them have been in the 90s um and you know I, i told you before you know, in the '90s, New Japan wasn't the it was it was good, but it wasn't really the big dog in Japan. It was actually all Japan, you know. Mm-hmm. So, um, <coughs> so yeah, I just been you know I've been checking out those matches um, and kind of getting into that. So that's what I've been doing. That's what's up, man. Boom. But uh, speaking of wrestling, man, quick wrestling recap. It's been a while since we had an episode, man. It's been a yeah. couple of weeks. Uh, rest in peace to Jay Briscoe, man. Um, man. Just super sad. Um, I had a kind of a hard time dealing with this one just because, uh, you know, he's he's from what I've seen, you know, he's a great dad. Um, yeah. and you know, it's just a really, 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 really tragic, straight up tragic situation. Um, but uh, yeah. Briscoe is obviously one of the greatest tag teams of all time. He had a dope solo run when he's Ring of Honor champion. Um, I remember when, uh, Around the time I was like really getting into Ring of Honor heavy, like early, you know, like 2014, 15, he was uh, wrestling Jay Lethal a lot. Um, but yeah, man, rest in peace to Jay Briscoe. Um, I I hope that I hope that his brother Mark, they need to do something big with with him. Um, so I guess we'll see, you know, how that goes. Um, and then we had the Royal Rumble, man. Which, you know, Royal Rumble is always fun. Me and me and my kids, we always do this thing where we number the paper 1 to 30, oh, yeah, and then yeah. we pick a number, and we just pick all the numbers until they're all taken <laughs> up. I actually won the uh, hey. I won the men's one, um, and and uh, Jay won the women's one. Nice. Um, Who would you – I mean, I guess you picked yeah. the person who won. Um, but as far as the <laughs> show, right, like – the rumbles were fun. The rumbles are always fun. I thought these they were both really good. I loved the finish of the women's rumble. Um uh, I didn't watch it live but I saw the, the yeah, uh, the cab um, recap. The women's rumble was dope. Uh Rhea Ripley, great, great choice to win. Um Asuka coming back as as kinda kinda her evil gimmick from yeah. when she was wrestling in Japan and stardom. She's Goat. like taking on Great Muda sort of, isn't she? Yeah, greatest of all time. She's untouchable. Um I I love her, man. I hope she gets a big match at WrestleMania. Um but yeah, Rhea Ripley's a great choice to win. The finish was super dope when it was uh her, those two and Liv Morgan on the apron and with the they did the miss spot and everything. It was dope. Um Women's Rumble slap. The Royal Rumble was good as well. Um I th- I think uh, shout out to Walter, man. I mean, uh, Gunther, as he is known mm, now. Gunther. But amazing feat of, of um, you know, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Amazing feat of... Uh, athleticism? Not athleticism, uh, endurance. My oh, yeah. Was, he, my man yeah. was number one and what? was in the final two. That's was insane. It, didn't Rhea Ripley win it from one, is, one to 30? Thir- she sure did. That's like the so, first yeah. time that's first ever happened, time, wasn't it? Yeah, so we had two two big time uh just Iron Man and Iron Woman situations there. Uh I think, you know, I don't I don't really have a problem that Cody won, 
But I just think that since everybody knew predictable it was very predictable and i think that kind of i think that kind of took away from the the excitement a little bit you know what i mean because they did the thing that everybody kind of knew they were going to do but then you know and you know i'm gonna give some props to wwe though because you know how often do we want them to do the thing and the thing is right there and they just don't do it and they they don't do it so um, you know, I'm gonna give him props to that. Uh, you know, Vince likes to do that. I, I dangle it in front of him. I'm gonna take it away. <laughs> so, how do you feel about? And then, I mean, do you think that Cody's gonna take it off of uh, Roman? Would you be happy with that if he, if he if it was? I'm gonna be honest. I think they're making a mistake. I think. I think sometimes, man, you gotta. Um, I think sometimes you gotta like. You gotta. Sami Zayn's got to win the belt. He has to. Mm. I think, and I'm not like, I'm not super into the, I'm not super into this whole Uso thing and this whole um, the family, the whole the f- whatever they Roman call Reigns thing. Yeah, this story, the bloodline story bloodline, they got going. Yeah, yeah. But I will say it is good, and it's this is the best long term story that WWE has ever done. Like this is one of the best ones they've ever done. Yeah. Um, I didn't really care for the Kevin Owens Roman Reigns match but like this, the the story of the match mm-hmm. and the stuff that happened after the match was incredible yeah. I think Sami Zayn is, is really falling into that he's kind of falling into that that uh, Daniel Bryan mm. um, you know role from a few years back um, and I, I think you know I think he's the crowd chooses the guy you know what I'm saying and when they choose the guy like they kind of you know, you need to listen to him. I think Sammy, I think he should win the belt, man. I really do. I like and, that. and I think a lot of people forget <laughs> that since he's been doing all this silly stuff. Like, oh, nah, man, go. Sammy Zayn was one of the best in-ring wrestlers of, you know, his time. Uh, when For he sure. was in Ring of Honor, El Generico. Mm-hmm. Um, and, you know, even coming to NXT, he was, he was, he was awesome. So... Sammy can go at a super high level. Definitely one of the best in ring wrestlers in WWE for, for sure. sure. Um, so I would like to see them put the bell on him. Um, and you know, I wouldn't be opposed to maybe him even beating Roman at um, uh, maybe a paper if they're not going to do it at WrestleMania, which they should. But obviously they can because Cody won the Rumble. Mm-hmm. But maybe even Sammy winning, and then maybe him wrestling with Cody at WrestleMania or something like that, you know? Mm. But they I don't think they will do that because this story has, needs to be paid off at WrestleMania, so we'll see. Oh, do, so but I bet you here's how they're going to pay it off. They're going to have, to protect Roman, they're probably going to have Sami Zayn, like, do some weird shit for Cody yeah. to win. Yeah, they'll, they'll probably do something like that. We'll see. And then maybe, maybe Sami can get it off. Uh, but I just see, man... That's why you gotta be, you gotta be careful, man. When, when things build up like this, and, and it's and it's all hitting, it's it's all kind of hitting the tipping point at the right time. I think Sammy's got to win the belt at Mania, but we'll see what happens, bro. And I th- I do think I mean I I hope that happens. I don't think it's gonna happen. I it's think not because Cody won the Rumble, but. Th- but and that's the only reason why he came to WWE. Yeah, but I bro, I think it's only a matter of time before the fans turn on Cody, dog. Like yeah, I mean he just you know Cody's got that. He just has that. I don't know. He just has something about Bro, him. Just be a heel. It worked to, for Roman yeah. Reigns. Everybody hated Roman Reigns. He finally turned heel. Now everybody loves him. Yeah, that's the same like, same thing for. He Cody. just he's wants just to be this unlikable man. <laughs> he doesn't realize that he's much better with like he's me. Here. Like no, fuck you, bro. Like he cries. You don't have that. Him. You got to be interesting. Yeah. In order for that to work. Did you know that his dad was Dust, Dusty Rose? Oh, you know what? I hadn't. Wow, really? <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, man, that's what's going on with W. <laughs> Oh yeah, sidebar. The spot with Ricochet and Logan Paul colliding in midair from opposite <laughs> sides of the ring was absolutely insane. That yeah. was awesome. Um But yeah, man, AW um I uh, good still. You know, they've kind of been on fire since the new year started. Mm-hmm. Uh I am getting a little tired of the whole uh, you wanna wrestle me? Well you gotta wrestle 
Mm. Everybody that I pick before you fight, they've been doing that a little too much. Like um, everybody has done that. Like everybody, Chris doing, Jericho did it. Yeah. Um, everybody's doing MJF that. MJF is doing it now. Kenny Omega even did it yeah, a little bit. Everybody's doing that now. It's super annoying, but I'm not mad because we're getting all these sweet Brian Danielson matches out of it. Yeah. Um, but like I said, I am a little worried. I'm a little worried about. Um, and I get it. It kind of goes two ways. Like if if Danielson, if MJF beats Danielson, like that's the that's the one guy on the roster where he just gets like infinite amount of credibility because the match will be a banger because hey, MJF sure. can wrestle. It's not like he can't wrestle. Yeah. And then Danielson's you know one of the goats. So um, it, it's not like the match won't be a banger. So he will get all the credibility off of it, which will help him as champ. But at the same time, I think that I think it's a little early to be feeding Danielson MJF, you know, uh, but that's one thing about, about the dragon. He's, he's, he's always been really, he, he's so, he's so about the next generation and just like moving the business forward. So, um, I'm excited for, you know, to some of these other matches, the, uh, but one guy I want to talk about, man, Kanosuke Takeshna. My guy. This guy is so good. And he's huge and he's strong. Yep. You know, uh, he had that match with Brian Cage, and I was kind of yeah. like, this is a the beef slapper. Kind of a big guy. Yeah. He can move. Like, he, he really is like a kind of a hybrid mixture of like Omega, Bushi, and he's kind of Okada a little Okada bit. Okada a little bit, kind of big, tall. Yep. Uh, he's going to be a big, 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 big time star. First time I saw him, I was like, yep, that guy's on my, he's, <laughs> he's, he's on my, my team of yeah, niggas that I fuck with he's, immediately. I, I love him, man. He's awesome. So shout out to him. He's been good. Uh, real quick, man, match of the week. You know, I was doing mm-hmm. the match of the week. I'm going to give you guys a match you guys should watch from last week. Um, uh, this week I'm I'm going I'm gonna go with uh, uh, Takeshna versus Cage was though, but I'm gonna go with Samoa Joe versus Darby Allen the the New yeah. Bar match. Wait, which because they went back to back. Which one was the, it? The, the f- most recent one the, from last yeah, okay. week, February first, I think. It was yeah, the yeah, No Holds yeah. Bar match for the for the TNT title. Uh, they got a nice little back and forth going. They do, and I'm a sucker for like a David versus Goliath kind of thing. And, and um, so I loved it. I think Darby Allen's a little insane. <laughs> he needs to Yeah. He needs Don't to get, get hurt, bro. Yeah. He does a lot of dangerous but bro, muscle buster on the ring ripped up with the can- uh, <laughs> with the the naked canvas. <laughs> yes. <laughs> he need to chill out. But the match was dope. Um I really love just those two had some good chemistry, man. So shout out to them. And Darby Darby's dope, man. You know, Darby's Darby's four time champion at this cool, point. Man. Or three. I think this is his second or third time. It's at least three. It might be three, yeah. yeah. But Darby, uh, you know, he, he did his thing. Obviously it was to kind of preserve the uh the Wardlow. I think Wardlow was hurt or something. Mm-hmm. Now he's back, so we'll see what's going on with that. But that's my match of the week, man. Small Joe versus Darby Allen. Boom. Now listen, I, real quick, I like Wardlow. But you know I fuck with Samoa Joe. I don't like that they're trying to feed Samoa Joe to Orlo. Orlo. I don't like that. I do, but I fuck with Orlo though. I like him a lot. But like, can we find somebody else to sacrifice, please? Yeah. <laughs> like feed him somebody. Like he deserves to be fed. Somebody need to get fed to that nigga. But does it have to be Samoa Joe? You know what I'm saying? If Orlo beats Joe, which he will probably, uh, we need to. This is where we need to get Will Hobbs in here. Yeah, and I think this brilliant. is the perfect time to get Will Hobbs in here. A TNT title feud with Wardlow. Yes, um, I fuck with Will Hobbs, man. Beef, beef slapper. A couple of beef slappers couple cutting of, it up. A <laughs> <dog. laughs> couple of big meaty men slapping right. meat. Right. Um, he's yeah. he's come a long way. I did not like him that much when he first. Okay, when he had well, that whole overall gimmick, yeah. I, I wasn't into that. But he's 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 come a long way, man. He, yeah. He's a, he's a throwback, man. To big 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 strong, strong uh, power slam ass niggas. Yeah. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like just just mean, right? Right. I he, like him. He kind of. I mean, obviously because of the they got the same finishing move, but he's got some black Arn Anderson energy. Yeah, a little bit. he got so he got like he just has that kind of eighties right. like. Big mean he spine buster did. ass. Yeah. Ass. <laughs> <laughs> like I was a you know right. college. He never break kayfabe you know ever. I really wish he was like out here doing like a 
like a college wrestler gimmick. He kind of has that, bro. Vibe, like wearing a varsity jacket to the ring. So and- hold on, nah, you know usually, <laughs> usually, <laughs> I don't like this Vince McMahon ass shit. But he had the h- most hilarious uh, uh, gimmick going on BTE for a while. Do, oh, do you remember? I, when, I don't remember. Dog, don't this nigga's gimmick was that he would show. It was either. Oh, I think it was on Sammy's vlog. It might not have been BTE. Okay. Where like he would. Like run up on like random segments where he'll just run up on people and just like steal their phone, oh just like God. take, they, just hilarious. like run up on them and just debo their phone. <laughs> that shit was hilarious. Nobody do anything. They couldn't nobody do shit about it. Hilarious. I mean, it was uh, it was on the line a little bit, but I'll admit it right. was kind of funny. I love Will Hobbs. So, but yeah, man. Um, but yeah, man. Um, so obviously. Uh, last time I think I talked briefly We talked a little bit about Pokemon Scarlet and Violet ah, and I, yes. was, I was kind of finishing up the <laughs> I was kind of finishing up the game And getting into some of the post game stuff And I was complaining a lot You know cause I hate I didn't like the new uh, The way, new way that the breeding works with, mm-hmm. with the eggs and the picnics Which I still think is dumb <laughs> um, And then I, I don't know if I said this last time in ter- just in terms of like the the regular game, I think this was the worst Elite Four of all time. They were easy. Not even from a difficulty state. Difficulty was ridiculously easy. But also I just thought it was kinda lazy. They the characters were were whack. They 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 weren't like they didn't have very Pokemon specific teams mm. They weren't really themed like I really thought It was just really super lazy <laughs> for. But yeah. with that Said um, I've gotten all the Way into the you know the meta game now The post game stuff the breeding The competitive battling mm-hmm. um, I didn't already made it to Master ball tier dog <laughs> <laughs> uh, I've been you know I got. It took me a minute to get my team together All the breeding um, you know, I started hopping in the ranked battles, man, and and your boy got some master balls here, man. I let's go. I will say, um, the terra the the terra typing is or terraforming, whatever they they call yeah. it. I don't like it, but it definitely adds. And you know, you're not always gonna like the new uh, the new meta that they add for the, like the new battle thing, right? Like mm-hmm. my favorite thing, I think the goat is Mega Evolution. I don't think they any, should bring those back. I don't think anything will top Mega Evolution, right? Yeah. Um, I didn't like the Z moves in Sun and Moon. Mm-hmm. Uh, Dynamax was okay. I would, didn't like it that much, but it was you know it was alright. Mm-hmm. Um, and you know now we got the Terra thing, but the Terra thing. Adds a lot to your strategy. Yep. Adds a lot to the way other people battle. It, it does. It adds a whole new layer of, of strategy. strategy. Yeah, and that's one thing I will say about Pokemon. I do think it's it's dope that every every time a new game, every generation, they add a new you know thing like that. That so you really can't you can't go into every generation using the same exact battle strategies because they are adding something new right right um but yeah so i you know i've been battling online competitive a lot same as always everybody uses the same pokemon yep. um you see the same ones they do the same stuff everybody uses the same terra types so you know like i always say if you just kind of can if you can just kind of you know build a team and and kind of figure out your own thing and just get familiar with with the battle strategies that other people do like you'll be able to win just off of not having a team that they're that they're familiar with yeah, you know for what I'm sure. saying um so the team I've been you know the team I've been battling with my my team is uh I'm I'm a little well we're going to get into this when we talk about the Greninja <laughs> raid um but I'm a little mad that you can't use Greninja in ranked why would they Cause he's got perfect IVs, but it doesn't matter. Why would you? Why? Cause I bred one, and you still can't use it. So why wait, would you? Wait, really? Yeah. Why would you put? Wait, it? wait a minute. What you mean? Yeah, exactly. You can't use. He's he's blocked on ranked still. I don't know if they're gonna let you use him in the next season or something. Cause they cause every month is a new season of of ranked battles. Um, but I just I don't understand why they would. 
allow you to get them in a raid and you can't use them in in the ranked battles online that's kind of ridiculous to me um but yeah bro i sat here so i i you know i i ev trained him the one we got in the raid and then uh you know changed his nature his nature meant got his move set together how i like it couldn't use them <laughs> so no. then so then i said maybe it's because it's the one we got in the raid so i sat here and bred a ton of eggs <laughs> until i got you know what i'm saying a good ivy one mm -hmm. trained it up got it to level 100 still couldn't use it so now i have two sweet greninjas just chilling <laughs> you know what i'm saying in my in my box um but anyway my the team that i use uh, that i'm uh, battling with online that that got me to master ball tier my babies my go-to team at point guard, Espion. Uh, wait, wait, hold on, real quick, uh -oh. real quick. Uh, I think that I'll be able to use for a while. I think that the expectation is that he will be able to be used. Okay, good. But I think it's just he can't be used right now because, like, he, they haven't like you know when they uh, they have the new season and they introduce a whole like more more rules. More Pokemon and then like adjust the meta to make sure that nobody's super overpowered. Yeah, I feel like they, I think they haven't done that yet. Okay. But I think the expectation is that you will be able to use him. Well, that'd be dope. Because I think you can use like Charizard and uh, because you've been seeing Charizard and Cinderace. I have you? not. Oh, you haven't? No. I have uh, not okay, seen so, them. so so maybe they they might, they might be out too. Ah, uh, interesting. Yeah, I haven't seen them at all. Um, but yeah, man. So I'm using Espeon. Um, I'm using so my team is Espeon, Meowskarada, uh Dragonite, Gyarados, uh Dragapult, and Tinkaton. That's my team. Strong. Um that I've been winning a lot with. Um and you know, it's been it's been good, man. Espeon, love Espeon. You know another another thing I really like about playing new generations of Pokemon games is you always end up kind of rediscovering an older Pokemon. You know what I mean? Um, oh, so yeah, like in the yeah, yeah and like in the from newer, a competitive for, standpoint. Yeah, so so I like Espeon. Espeon and Umbreon are my two favorite evolutions. Um, I love Espeon, and but I haven't used Espeon since X X X Y. You know, mm -hmm. it's been a mm -hmm. long time. But Espeon for a minute was one of my go to special attackers. You know, yeah. And you know when I was getting my team ready for this game. I just kind of noticed, like, I don't have any special attackers, you know? So what I did was I went with a special attack, Dragapult, which is a little different. You don't see it a lot. You know what I'm saying? So, um, but then I also was wanted to get Espeon out there. So um, I got Espeon, super good special attack, really good special defense, uh, Calm Mind, Magic Bounce, one of the sweetest abilities mm. ever. Mm -hmm. um, and you know what's funny is nobody uses Espeon online, so so nobody knows what Magic Bounce <laughs> <laughs> so it, it, you know magic bounces ability where if they do a status move or they try to throw hazards on the field espion literally just reflects them back to them <laughs> and there i've had a handful of battles where you know somebody will do yawn or something mm -hmm. and espion will just reflect it back to them and they'll literally quit <laughs> right right off off the bat it's hilarious so i'm reading um, here this headline says rank battle series one won't allow legendary or paradox pokemon so that was serious i think this is series two now because i'm definitely going up against all the paradox pokemon okay so that must have been uh one so series two they're definitely using those annoying paradox which are cheating because they're like legendaries pretty much okay rank battle series two season three rules uh, um, well, most Pokemon, including Paradox po Pokemon for competitive play over, just a few restrictions. Uh, okay, the four treasures of Ruin, Coridon, and Maridon, and Pokemon which are not in the Paldea decks, such as Quagsire, Perserker, and Raid Event Pokemon, such as Charizard, Cinderace, mm -hmm. and Greninja. Can't and their previous used. evolutions cannot be used during this, this okay. series. So they might do it next season. Uh. They they for sure will, bro. Like, there's no if they do this and you can't use these perfect ass yeah, Pokemon that I'm you that fucking you broke your switch in order to get, <laughs> then they're out of their minds. So for sure, for sure, you will be able to use them. I don't even battle online, but like, 
I I actually I meant to say this to you. I found a Discord and I traded. I found somebody to trade me oh, the cool. uh, the first the the dragon the dragon knight <laughs> the Charizard and oh, the, from uh, the the first raid yeah from the first raid and the Cinderace That's I got them fire. both. Um, so stuff. yeah, like Pokemon Discord, you should you should like I'll venture into that. Yeah, see. you'll probably find some interesting shit in there. All right, um, but yeah, man. So that's my team I've been battling with. Uh, Gyarados, so I got it. And uh, also, man, if you can just get a little creative with the terror type that you do, you'll have a lot of success too. You know, mm-hmm. a lot of people literally they all do the same stuff. Right. So my Gyarados has gr- I have a ground terror type for earthquake right mm-hmm. so everybody will try to do an electric move and then i'll just tear type and he's ground that works really well my espion's tear type is dark my i gave greninja i can't use them in competitive but you can still battle online you just can't do ranked with them so mm-hmm. i still sometimes battle for fun and casual battles and his tear type is ghost uh, i got him ghost tear type and then i always do shadow sneak priority move so i i run uh physical grena- attack greninja mm-hmm. super it's so so dope have you messed um, around with the uh the normal terra type dragonite yes and it's cheating yeah <laughs> um, a lot of other people do it too so yeah. i always have to have if i see somebody has dragonite on their team i have to i i always put dragon pull out so they can't hit them with, with extreme, the extreme speed, speed yeah. but yeah i that's that's what my dragonite is and it is a beast <laughs> uh, extreme speed and also bro, um, mo- bro multi-scale as a bro yep. multi-scale has the ability weakness policy which ups mm-hmm. their attack if they get hit by a move they're weak to take that first little fairy move they do Terra type in the normal dragon dance. So now you got. Uh, you so, now you got so now you got dragon dance. You got Insurance weakness policy, policy yep. and your terror type normal and extreme speed. You will yeah, literally sweeping everybody. Will sweep their whole team as long as they don't have a, a ghost type, and then you could just outspeed the ghost type anyway and do something else and kill it. It's another move you can use to get. What is he has another strong ass normal type move as well? Um, dragon eye. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. Uh, I can't remember. I'll th- I'll think about it. Keep yeah, going. Let me know. Oh, it's probably like Giga Impact or something. Uh, I don't think so. Or um, like Hyper Voice maybe. A Hyper Beam. Not Hyper Beam. That's a special it's, it's, attack. Though. No, uh, Hyper Hyper Voice is also special. Let me think about it. Keep going. Right. But yeah, man. And then uh, my Mascarada, ooh, Terra type Fairy mm-hmm. and uh, Dragapult. Oh, my Dragapult's got uh Electric Terra type. For Thunderbolt, nice. Um, and then um, my Tinkatons got. I did. Um, so for my Tinkaton, I did. So sometimes I do like defensive terror type, like not even for the move. You know what I'm saying that they have, but just to change their type so they could take a hit from right, yeah, from the other one. So I do that sometimes too. But but that's my team. Love the game. I'm still figuring out how to use Annihilate the right way. I love him, but I haven't figured out the best way to use him yet. So that's why he's not on on my competitive team yet but yeah. uh but yeah man i'm enjoying the battling um it's been it's been fun i'm enjoying it i love i will say another thing about this game the pokemon that you get in these high star raids so much better than oh like, then they're the, giving you like the dogs on like competitive battle ready if you're yeah. doing six star raids and all you have to do is do some of the smaller things like EV train them and like if you want to change their nature but yeah. they're, they're giving you like they're coming off the deck with like five EVs five yeah, perfect it's, EVs it's crazy that's I love that and I also love I'll say this as well the the the, the loot that you get from these raids is crazy crazy so much better than last game like last mm-hmm. game you were it was it was cheap like you were out here doing all these raids and you know not really getting much and now yeah. you're, the loot is is insane the trade off is that it was much easier yeah to these beat those these raids. raids are tough now um and then you know uh it's so hard to change a terror type man um mm-hmm. cuz you got to get 50 of those shards so i've changed every single one of mine on my team i had to change all of them so like mm-hmm. i spend <laughs> days doing raids of the same kind so you can get, get those terror yeah. shards and then only only certain number of that type of raid pop up a mm-hmm. day, so that takes a long time. But yeah, man. I'm, well, I'm you know, this it. might sound like a dumb question, but I I just figured this out like a couple of days before when I was getting ready for the for the Greninja raid. But so forgive me if this is a ridiculous question. <laughs> but you know, you can like go to the online part and like you don't Poke have to portal. 
Yeah. Yeah, no, I do that. I raid with people all the time. Because I, I used to just go through the world and find them. <laughs> and I'd be like, bro, this shit trash. No, nah, it took me a minute to realize that, too. When I realized that, I was join, like, wait a minute. Yeah, and all the good raids pop up. They pop there. up immediately. Yeah, six star, six star, yeah. six star. Yeah, or so. even what I started to do, though, was do, I just did a bunch of five stars because they were easy and, and like, because you yeah. know the six stars and the seven stars get they get the, little wonky. They get wonky and they also get get taken so quick and yeah, you like you won't be able join, to you can't, you can't join. join and it takes like four like a minute. It takes a long time. To so get that's back actually in, so they need to fix that shit. It's yeah, super they annoying. Do. It's annoying. But also like stop coming to raids unprepared. I can't stand oh, when Lord. I'm doing when it's like a Pokemon I really want and I'm doing like a six star raid and somebody comes in there with a Pokemon that's weak. <laughs> hey, I'm gonna take my I'm super just tagging, cool. I'm just tagging along trying to get this. I'm gonna bring my super no. cool Raichu out. <laughs> totally strong because Dead. I just, right, immediate fucking KO. All of a sudden the fucking time <laughs> like, oh, what the fuck y'all doing? But so speaking of raids, man, oh. we hooked up to do the the seven star Greninja raid. Uh, me, you, my son. I think we had somebody from the Discord. We, we had a uh, bearded panda. I think joined us. I think so. Shout out to you, man, and and it was it was fun. It was difficult. Yeah. Um, we kind of th- all went in, uh, and we kind of had to do it a couple times to figure out what our strategy was going to be. Yeah. Um. So so. Just kind of what, what what was your what was your your role? Yeah, so I was. So it took us a minute to coordinate because we were we yeah. weren't to. It would have been much easier if we were in the same room. Exactly, but it and took he, us a minute so, to coordinate. So Greninja's he it was Greninja, but his terror uh, type was poison. poison. And so when you do these raids, you kind of have to. You always got to take an L off top because you got to kind of figure out what their move set is. Mm-hmm. Uh, we kind of actually guessed it, though. We did. Yeah, we knew it. We, we kind of guessed it just off of being like Greninja, you know, fans. I think mm-hmm. we literally guessed his whole move set, except maybe, except water double shuriken. team. No, remember, we thought he would have water shaking, and we didn't know he would have double, double team. team. Right. Um, and double and team also, I don't, super annoying. I don't think we knew he was going to have toxic spikes either. Oh um, yeah, that was another good one. Yeah, because so we said I think we said water shaking, uh, ice beam, gunk shot, a gunk shot, and he uh, was baking us with that dog. shit. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga was taking pop shot. I was like, hold on. So, <clears throat> so here's here's how it broke down. <laughs> what we didn't we were not coordinated at first, so we took about two. I think I think we got it in three tries, maybe four. Mm-hmm. Um, so the way that we needed to do this was. To utilize a little bit of jank, a yeah. little a little bit of high level strategy. So, I rolled with Slow King. A lot of people use Slow Bro. I like Slow King better because he had higher special attack. Mm. Um, and I EV trained his defense. So, because they use people use Slow Bro online because his def, his special defense or sorry his defense is higher, special defense is lower. I EV trained so that both of them were about equal. Um, and his his special attack is higher. So the way that we needed to set this up was we needed to allow for stored power to take its to to do what it needed to do. And the way that right. that move works, and that's a hard move to. It's a real hard uh, move. To it's set a up. hard move to set up um, because I, I I tried to run that on on Espeon and it's it's really hard to set up. It's it's really more so a raid killer than yeah. it is a move. It's not a move that I would use in in competitive. Yeah. The way that it works is that for each it's it's a really clever strategy, bro. For each level of magnitude that you increase a stat, you store a a like a a, a multiplier for this move. The move has a base damage of 20. So what I you what I would do would be to just spam iron defense Mm -hmm. which is a two a two level defense increase so for each each of those moves you get base 20 per level of increase so you're getting 40 i'm getting 40 every time iron defense so i but the problem was and i think what i didn't know until until it happened so like we didn't coordinate because I was trying to get us to like to heal because because in that if that's gonna be our strategy we have to be healing yeah you know what I'm saying you gotta take like still do some damage but also somebody gotta remember to heal and I was trying to get Jay to to like yo like tell him to hit a heal right away yeah immediately yeah. but the fucked up part and here's here's what where I think we kind of lucked into the strategy that would end up working anyways 
is like some of this stuff is on like a like a script right after like two or three um moves he'll they do this fucking garbage oh, ass thing so annoying where it, where he just <laughs> it erases like, all your right, stat like, moves <laughs> ah no nah, all the work you did everything you did doesn't ah, matter yeah fuck it no nope, <laughs> also nah, all, this redoing stuff, it. all this stuff you did to me i just it doesn't matter nah, there's a, okay so it, it reminds me of do you ever play any of the soft park games and yes, it, actually. Do you did you play the, the second one? The where, fractured butthole. So do you remember where you had to fight uh, Stan's <laughs> you cousin? Heard, you heard that right, guys. Yes. yes, I do. And that nigga had a move where he would just like be like, "Oh, that Bro, wasn't fair. I wasn't ready." Yes. And just like negate oh all of your my moves. God. That's literally what Greninja would do, bro. A sidebar. Both the South Park games, absolutely brilliant. Fire. So yeah, fun good. They're both play. good. They're I, I recently played both of them. I have both of them. They're hilarious. Um, so so they would do this move and it would like just negate all of our shit. Um, so like, and then if, and we try to get it started again. And and the nice thing about um about slow bro or slow king is that I had like high defense against most of his moves, so he couldn't really use anything that was a killer on mm-hmm. me, except for uh, there was a there was a dark type move that he was using on me that used to phase. Do you, was it like? Dark Pulse or no? Oh, I think it was Dark Pulse. Might have been that, that, that shit would phase, but like but the idea was that since my defense was so high, I could tank it. Mm. But what happened was that I died, and I think we need. I think I needed to die. I think I needed to die because when I because it gave me the ability to start from the beginning mm-hmm. of my full health bar, and he didn't the the Greninja like bullshit script. <laughs> Didn't have another <laughs> another like, one of those reversal. things where they erase your stat. Moves. So after I died, I'm like, bro, like I was getting frustrated, like fuck, like how, I don't know what I'm gonna do, but all right, we're still alive, so let's just keep it popping. You know, um, Jay was hitting metal sounds. Um, you were hitting megaton hammers and like, and you what else? You were I doing was, another. So, move. so I was you were doing reflect. So so I was running um like a support Tinkerton. So like the Tinkerton moveset that I was using for the raid is way different than what I use online. Right. But I was running like max special defense with an assault vest and then I was going I was doing this move called Skitter Smack that lowers his special yeah, attack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, then yeah. I was putting up a, a wall for us. Yeah, like yeah, a reflect wall. And then little chip and shots every little, now and little then. sword dance and then a little gigaton hammer. Yeah, and then yeah. Skitter Smack keep lowering his special attack. Right. So that that started working after I after I think all of us died at least once. Yeah. Uh, actually, I think you stayed alive the whole time. I did because I so so one of the main reasons I used Tinker Tones because she's steel, yeah. so I wasn't getting chipped by that stupid toxic spikes. Anymore. Right, right, right. Oh, okay, that was another thing, bro. And, and I couldn't get hit with gunk shot either. So here's here's the other part that I for, I forgot to tell you about this. This is actually what what kept it going. The toxic spikes that he throws out ordinarily would have fucked this plan because. Um, I once you get resurrected, you instantly get poisoned, mm-hmm. right? And you can't use healing items in the raid, right? So what I did was I used a peach berry as my item. Oh, where you can just get rid of the to heal poison. the poison immediately. Yeah, that's I because I, I, I was using some other to like boost special attack, but I get I got rid of that for the purpose of being able to avoid the toxic spike, so I could mm-hmm. stay with like as much health as possible and not get like chipped, chipped with away, it. Yeah. So finally. The the other part of that move is once you get your iron defense maxed out, which will probably after about six turns it'll get maxed out. Then you hit him with calm mind. You you oh yeah. sorry nasty plot nasty plot. You hit him with your special attack. Oh. It's a two stage two special stage, attack. Yeah. Special attack. So I did that like three times, and then I finally was like, bro, boom, y'all niggas. <laughs> I swear to God, I'm finna unload on this, bro. Y'all niggas just keep me alive for like two more turns, bro. I yeah. finally. And then I, did I hit the, a couple heals. Bro, so I did the math. I was hitting that nigga with like 280 <laughs> damage, dog. We started then, frying that then, dude, bro. And then we're sitting here playing. <laughs> and this, I, and we're not like talking, right? Me and Jayless are right next to each other, but we're just doing the raid. And then this dude's health bar just goes all the way down <laughs> with like one little line left. And Jayless just goes, oh! He was like, what happened? Like, I was like, I hero just hit that. I was like, hero, hero just hit that movie. Bro, I, right, for, for the whole game, I finally used the move. And, and, and then I did the little last gig to right, remember. Right, bro. And that was like the most satisfying um, raid that imagine, ever. Imagine charging a spirit bomb for like seven episodes. It was, it was so <laughs> That's was literally so what was going on. But it was fun, though. It was. I'm glad that we... 
And ha- that, w- that there's no way that could have worked with a bunch of randoms, bro. Nah, like, that's why you got to do those high star raids. With, you got to like coordinate with people because, yeah. like I said, you get people coming in there just kind of doing whatever, and yeah. those raids are too too cheap for you to. You know what I'm saying? Because they yep. be cheating. <laughs> yeah. No, I mean, bro, they flat out be like, nope. I've decided that this move doesn't hurt anymore. Fuck off. Literally, they do that. Yep. Um, but yeah, that was super fun and satisfying. Um, but let's go, man. Quick sports check in. What's going on with your boys? <laughs> what? <laughs> man. Uh, you want me to say them niggas can't hoop? <laughs> uh, Pistons week. They need to make a trade. It's 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 Wednesday at nine thirty, so I'm gonna be spending the entire day tomorrow stuck to my phone on Woj and Sham's Twitter. Like, all right, what y'all niggas gonna do? Top trade targets. Uh, I mean, we've been flirting with Cam Reddish for like three years. Literally, just get him. <laughs> yeah, just a, just deal? ask him out, man. Ask him on a date. Stop ask being scared. Out. Stop being. What do they call it? Prude. <laughs> that what they used to call it back. <laughs> right. In like yeah. School? I like uh, Cam Reddish. I, I'd like to take a swing on Darius Baisley out in OKC. He's got some talent. If they could find a way to pry John Collins away from Atlanta, I would be cool with that. Bro, hold on. This is cool. Oh. Wow. I just seen this. Po- I'm in this Pokemon group, and they're doing a little cup series. Yeah, they and do that all the time. And bro. it's all Pokemon level five first evolutions only. <laughs> <laughs> Doug, EV trade them, quick attack, right? <laughs> but you know what? They, so in those groups, they do all kind of shit where they do like tiers, where That's it's cool. like, like I, th- I forget how they how they describe the tiers, but like it's it's a it's a it's a, a level of Pokemon where you can make pokemon like pikachu and like ratatat like so cool. radicate you can make them all viable That's like because it's so like a certain sweet. level oh i gotta do something like that because yeah. i love some of the little weaker ones yeah, yeah. You know and it's like yeah. so like Have it's just like there. a certain i think it's like you're it's like you're, the anime because ash is always right. using first stage pokemon they, i forget what they call them but if you go to like uh small smallgon.com yeah that's smallgon, yeah that's where they have like the tiers. The OU, they do like OU tiers, UU, you, yeah. I right, right. Stuff. But like if you go to the lower ends, that's how they break down. And they do like tournaments that's, like that all the time. Oh, I would love to do something yeah, like that. It's fire. I'll sit here and train I'll train up a little a little sand. Remember the episode where Sand Shrew was pumping? Bro, iron yes, ducks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Bro, that always reminds me of goddamn um <laughs> that episode of Samurai Shampoo where that nigga nah, Mugu was, Mugu was training, training that beetle. beetle. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga pulling a boulder of a, a pebble. That's my favorite episode, and that's like a stupid little side kind of side, yeah. side plot of that episode. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but yeah, that is a good ass episode. That's, that's hilarious. But yeah, man. Uh, so you're saying the Pistons need to make a trade? Um, yes, they need to get rid of Bogdan Bogdanovich. He's got value. He's got value. He's a bucket getter. Some contenders would love to have him. Yeah, I don't. I don't think he's gonna go to the Lakers anymore because they don't have anything else that they. Although he would, he would make that Lakers team a lot better. Mm-hmm. But they ain't got nothing that I want over there. Um, no, you don't want uh, Russell. Not gonna be able to do it. <laughs> no, no, um, no, 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 no. It's gone too Bro. far. Um, I, I don't. I just kind of want another first round pick, bro. Like, I don't. There's no like one player that I really, really, really want. Mm-hmm. Like, if you can get another first round pick, so we can find a way to get, hopefully, either Cam or either um, uh, Scoot or Victor, bro. You know, Scoot's real name is Sterling. Sterling Henderson is such a cooler name than Scoot Henderson, bro. Sterling Henderson, that motherfucker sounds like he can that really. Sounds move. like a professional athlete. Scoot Henderson sounds like a nigga who got in trouble in eighth grade. And <laughs> went to the detention hey, Scoot. office. Oh, that nigga Scoot here. He 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 he, went, he got in trouble. He he got sent home. But Sterling Henderson, he can, that motherfucker can hoop. <laughs> uh, so yeah. Oh, oh, so so get somebody at the top of the drive, and also like, hey man, like. Go get me Imani Bates, bro. Go get me Imani nah, Bates at the see, bottom of the I first want, round, top of the second it, round. I want Imani Bates, man. Nah, y'all Imani can't have that nigga, bro. Here. He from Detroit. Come on. <laughs> Come on back home, bro. We'll keep Sada Baby away from you. Shot maker. Yeah. 6'9", um, bucket getter. Good player. Good player. Um, Yeah, man, Warriors. First of all, I'm so tired of this Warriors fan base online, man. Yeah. If y'all don't shut up, we got four championships. I couldn't care less if these dudes didn't win another game ever. <laughs> Four championships. I'm happy, 
I am set. If in your, play- in like the past eight if years. If they're playing bad, I will go and watch some games from when they were winning the championship. Right. I do not care. Y'all need to chill. But I will say this. Um, we need to make a trade too, man. I, and I'm not even asking for nothing crazy. Um, just, you know, it's it's time to move on from Wiseman and Moody. Uh, I'm very happy with Kaminga. He's finally shown mm-hmm. up and, and kind of shown that he's ready. Um, but, you know, I've been out on Wiseman for – a couple years now so i'm just a little disappointed that they waited so long uh to to even think of trading him you know when his value was a lot higher they could have did it but i mean who am i won a championship last year (laughs) i don't care you know what i mean uh but i would like to just see them you know steps out broke steps hurt but uh that's okay you know it's okay yeah. Uh, but stuff's out right now, so I, I would, you know, we just need same thing they needed last year. We just were able to win the championship because Steph was playing out of his mind. Great, greatest uh, player, greatest point guard of greatest, all time, greatest point guard of all time. But we just need a rim protector, uh, just a big that is active and can protect the rim. And I love Looney, but Looney's just not. That's not what he does. He's a good yeah. rebounder, and he's kind of a really. He's like a good passing big man, and he's and he's, he's a finesse. Smart. Finesse yeah, big. but we need kind of a force down there, and I'm not even asking for anything crazy. Like I would, I would trade Wiseman to the Hornets for their uh, first round draft pick of theirs and Mason Plumley. Like you know what I'm saying? I would love that. I wanted Jared Vanderbilt too for Moody, but it sounds like he's gonna be. Involved in this in Lakers, Lakers trade, deal, yeah. Um, but yes. yeah, we just need—we literally just need another a athletic wing that can defend, and then we need a rim protecting big. That's literally. You it. You think James Wiseman is going to get you a first round pick back? Not uh, f- certainly not from the Hornets. They' about to have a lottery pick. Mm, maybe a maybe like a protected one or like, like a maybe future a, first, perhaps. Yeah, maybe a future first. Uh, <clears throat> I think so. I think some teams are, still think he has a lot of potential. Um, oh, he gonna get another shot. I mean, he's only twenty one, twenty two. That's what I'm saying. He'll get a, he'll get a, he'll get a shot. And I'm there's somebody that I'm just, I'm just over that uh, bridge. Yeah. But yeah, man, that's Warriors Vikings. What are we doing, dog? We just hired Brian Flores, Black Defensive oh, as, Coordinator. Oh, okay. Love it. That's, that's the up. that was my, he was number one on my list. I'm so glad they got him. Um, yeah, man, the defense was uh was trash. <clears throat> Uh, I'm so glad they got Ed Donatel out of there. They got Brian Flo- Brian Flores now. He's gonna be a little more aggressive, you know. Have these corners playing playing up instead of playing so far off. Mm-hmm. Um, so the defense, you know, it's gonna be a big rebuild. They got a lot of bad contracts on older, slow defense players on defense. They're gonna have to get rid of, figure something out there. Um, you know, we'll see. I'm obsessed with all the draft stuff right now. I want them to draft a receiver in the first round. Um, because really? yeah, we got to stop letting these teams Just double take, team Justin yeah. Jefferson every game, <clears throat> and, and, and it's time for them. They got to get a receiver that can consistently win one on one, so Jefferson doesn't have to go against two people every single play of every game. It's ridiculous. Yep. Um, uh, Kirk Cousins, dog. He's still there. What are we gonna do with Kirk? I don't know. We'll see. Um, that's that's a long conversation for another day. Um, but anyway, LeBron James, dog. Hold on, hold on. Wait a minute, Lions. Oh, Lions. Yeah. How you feel about those guys? They might have a good team next year I'm somehow. S- I'm scared of them for the first time ever. Yeah, I mean, I'm afraid of. Got a they got a, a, a emerging defense. They we got a. How about Jared Golf is not trash. I was wrong. I owe him an apology. His first pick in the draft went to the Super Bowl. Right. Good player. Um, do you, is Aaron Glenn still there? Yes. Or did he leave? I, I think he might leave. I, I, I think he's still here at the moment, but I think he might leave. I actually love him. And he's good. I, yeah. He was – do you remember him when we were kids? He played for the Jets. Yes. He, he was a cornerback, right? Awesome. He was one of the ghosts. Yeah, he was awesome when we were kids. I love Aaron Glenn as a player. I liked him as a coach. Um – he was eliminated for the Cardinals job, and he's still with. So he's going to still come back to Detroit. Uh, he, it just says that he is not going to the Cardinals. He still might leave. He'll, no, he'll probably still. He he might come back. Usually, I think he will. If he don't get another job, he will. Well, usually, usually coaches only let their staff interview for head coaching jobs. Like they don't let them go yeah, from coordinator yeah. to coordinator. Right, right, so right, right. 
he'll probably stay for sure. Um, but yeah, the Lions, man, they're legit. I'm scared of the Lions flat out. Um, Lions, they're about to have a really. They got a. They got a a good core. I mean, bro, Jared Goff was like a top ten quarter, a top seven quarterback this year. Yeah, like, he, was, he was good. He was good. Um, um, <clears throat> they're gonna have a dog ass receiving core next year mm-hmm. with uh, Amon Ross, St. Brown, and J Mo. J Mo, the guy that we let you guys get yeah. in by trading. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know what happened? Our first round draft pick broke his leg, didn't play at all. Hey, you know what happened to the other guy we traded back to get in the second round? Andrew Booth got hurt, didn't play at all. <laughs> hey, you know what happened to the other corner we drafted? Three concussions, didn't play at all. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! Hey, you know what happened to uh, the guard that we drafted? He started and was the lowest graded guard wow. in the league. <laughs> Great draft! <laughs> no, but seriously, I am just tired of this franchise ducking a rebuild. They act like a rebuild is like saying Voldemort. They Bro. like <coughs> I am trying to get these people to understand NFL rebuilds only take two years. It is not like the NBA. You can literally rebuild your team in two years. All you have to do is literally draft a rookie quarterback. If they pan out, you're literally set. The Eagles just did it. And the Eagles are the best example because what they did, the thing that the Vikings do that I hate, bro, it's because they don't, they're not trash and they never suck. Uh, to get they never bottom out. They never bottom they never suck bad enough to get a good draft <coughs> to get a good draft pick. They always cling to like being mediocre. And when you eight do and, eight, and when you nine and eight, do maybe. stupid stuff like that, like last year, right? They won thirteen games. Yeah. But what was I saying all season? They're Trash. not good. Yeah. Their defense is they're winning all these one score games because of they're getting lucky, right? You know what happens when you do that, Hero? Now you got to play a first place schedule next year. Uh, now you got to play the Chiefs. Now you're gonna have to play the Bengals. Now you have to play the they Eagles. They do that now in football. To, yes, interesting. Now they gonna have to play a really good schedule, <coughs> and they weren't really that good of a team. You know what I'm saying? Mm. And like I was saying, the Eagles, bro. These dudes won the Super Bowl. Literally went to the playoffs the next couple of years. They were like nine and eight. They were like, hey, you know what? We're kind of like. We're kind of like plateauing a little bit. Let's rebuild right now. Yep. Nine and eight. <clears throat> fired their coach. Traded their quarterback. Drafted Jalen Hurts. That was like two years ago. They're in the Super Bowl. Yeah. Why can't the Vikings do that? Nope. We're just gonna keep. We're just gonna keep extending Kurt and winning. Nine, ten games, and you know what I'm saying? It's so stupid. I It drives me nuts. I really wish they would stop doing this. Um, whatever. Um, anyway, LeBron James. Hey, King bro. James. <clears throat> Listen, I'm not interested in nobody's conversation about MJ versus LeBron no more. Like, Look, man. What are we doing here? I just think it's so weird that people have so much trouble accepting the greatness of others like yeah. it's really not it's really not a debate like there's people that are imagine just imagine being somebody that lebron can't ain't even a scorer like that though bro he literally he, he got he, more he, points than everybody <laughs> <laughs> that nigga put the ball in the basket more times than any other human on earth ever period ever <laughs> full stop <laughs> the end that nigga is unequivocally <laughs> all, the time. greatest scorer of all time because he's got the most, most points. points. And he's also a pass first player. He's also a pass first player. He also has the fourth highest points per game average oh of all time. My God. And he's been doing it for 19 years. Like, the fact that he isn't a, 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 a score first player and he's still the best scorer ever that is, ridiculous. is evidence of his greatness right Bro. there. He has the most points ever. Ever. A record that's been in stone since the 80s. For 34 years. Oh or for four, almost for damn near 40 years. Ridiculous. Look, bro. Uh, LeBron James. Look, if you want to make the argument that that Michael Jordan is your favorite player, you think he's the GOAT, that's Th- fine. That's fine. It's not a crazy argument, it's obviously. Not, it's not. But, but what we got to stop doing is... Look, we can't say that he's like not good. You know what I'm right. saying? Or you can't yeah, say yeah. stuff like 
he sucks or you, yeah. like no you can't you literally can't you guys do that. are it's not it's literally not true it's not true and also like you got to accept the data right like if you if from your taste and your objective standard of what you think greatest means lands michael jordan on top that's fine that's that's not a crazy argument nobody's gonna say oh you're out of your mind but for you to then say that that lebron james is some bum he got 38,000 points. <laughs> He's going to finish his career with 40,000 points with 10,000 rebounds, 10,000 assists. He's going to be a crazy Cloud's getting some uh some some novelist rubs right now. Um you just you can't say shit like that. That's just silly. <laughs> right? Like you cannot. And it's like I see people that were saying like I mean, I get it, but like, did they have to stop? Yes, they had to stop the game because he just scored the most points yeah, ever. ever. Yeah, they did time. have to stop the game. Yes. Like, what's the problem? That's I don't, true. They did. It's so weird to me. Um, but it was, it was, it was cool watching it, and it was also like just being fans that are of our age in our age bracket, like. We got to watch. The we whole got thing. to see the whole thing, yep. and like this guy was sweet when we were in high school, man. Yep. That's nuts. I always say, man, like, and I'm, he's like still yeah he's got like two more years of prime (laughs) he's almost 40 it was ridiculous look bro i I always say like i've never been a fan of like it's been hard for me to be a fan of lebron because all of his teams have been my team's rivals Mm -hmm. no that's the same exact same exact thing here man but i've always been a fan of the story of lebron how many like but how many of your like favorite teams and players have Came and gone, and he's still here, bro. That's my, that's the craziest bro, part. The to whole me. Pistons championship team—it's insane. They're all gone now, and old, and yeah. coaching, and all coaching, and, and GMs, he's like, and, and got gray hair and, and he's grandchildren, like still dominating the NBA. Yeah. It's, it's nuts. Yeah, like, man. We talked off. We talked uh, yesterday, and we were just kind of saying, like, has there ever been an athlete that has lived up? to the hype to this like level it's he was you know coming out of high school and they were saying he's gonna be the greatest player of all time and he like kind of is yeah. <laughs> you know what i'm saying like yeah. it's it's just it's insane so and my, my for me if you want to know my take i i i used to hate michael jordan too as a detroit as a mm-hmm. pistons fan but when i started to get serious about basketball i kind of had this really interesting moment with, with michael jordan where i was like where i started studying him as like a just like as a basketball mm-hmm. phenomenon, like yo, this motherfucker was really fucking yeah, good. He could really, yeah. really hoop. Um, and for a while, he was he was not my favorite player ever, never that. But I I conceded, probably the greatest player I ever played. Like mm-hmm. I conceded it. But this was like ten years ago, right? And I I always had I always saw as LeBron started to enter his prime. If there's anybody who's gonna take the throne from Michael, it's I thought I thought Kobe had a shot for a while. Mm-hmm. Um. But it soon became clear that Michael was was really the only one that had a shot. You know who I? This is a super random aside. You know who I thought really had a shot first before any of them guys? Dwayne Wade. Oh, D Wade. And the reason why is because my dad actually pointed this out. Dwayne Wade was the first of them to hit their prime, and he was the first one to win it. Even before Kobe won his his championships by himself, um, Dwayne Wade did it like real early on mm-hmm. in like two thousand six. Now, obviously, he kind of plat. I mean, he didn't plateau, but he never reached. He the never heights. exceeded that, right? He never reached the heights that Kobe and, and LeBron did. Um, but after a while, it became clear like LeBron is doing some crazy, like sustained, sustained it's excellence. Inc- shit. It's incredible, like for for such longevity. And so my my argument for him being the goat, which is how I, which I've I have officially made my stance. How you define greatness is totally objective. It's up to the beholder. Sorry, totally subjective. Um, But for me, the argument to be made around his sustained greatness being excellent for his entire career is the reason why I would consider him the greatest player of all time. No, same here, man. Um, I agree. I'm I'm kind of on that train too. I think LeBron's the greatest player ever, and um. Not just the longevity, but just the even the the responsibility and the the dedication and the commitment. Like this guy, this is a guy who's you know almost forty, still dominates the leagues, takes care of his body at mm-hmm. at like a ridiculous 
You know what I mean? Like just the way that he takes care of his like I remember I still remember back um years ago when he had kind of first transformed his body when he went from being like really big oh, and bulky, he lost all and he that weight slimmed yeah, down yeah. And people were it. worried about him do you remember that you remember the well, reaction it, well yeah but it was that he was doing that keto diet oh is that and what it was i think that's what it was and he but this but like he kind of transformed his body and he kept it there for, yeah. and it's that's if you are like into fitness and that's hard bro. that's not easy man yeah, yeah. And he like has stayed at that like kind of sl- trimmed down but which still, has given him still strong as hell it's like giving him him the you know the ability to keep up and you know maintain the speed and the and the 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 durability you know what I'm saying because mm-hmm. now he's not so heavy and it's like that was amazing and so strategic to do that early on so yeah like, and then it's like he like like he's you not said, carrying he, on around the weight for so he long did it early he did it this because I was still when he did that I was still playing. And pro ams and stuff, and yeah. I was still playing. It was a lot during of ball, the heat so era. That was a that while was like, ago. That was like early in the big three era. I yeah. think like 2013 or 14. So that that's crazy, man. That he that he did that. Um. So yeah, man. Shout out to LeBron James. Yeah. Just you know, just the most points ever. LeBronosaurus Rex, dog. You know what I'm saying electrifying goat. So, uh, really, really, really cool to watch that. I watched that game live, so I can see. Me that. too. I actually, I was playing. I was trying to platinum for spoken actually, and I <laughs> and I forgot that it was going on. I was like, oh shit! And I I tuned in at like 11:59 when with like six oh, so points he to probably go. Probably had like six points to yeah. go. Yeah, and I was like, That's oh hilarious. shit! I caught it at the last <laughs> second. I completely forgot about it. Yeah, shout out to Brian, man. And he had a good ass. They lost, but yeah, he had people, a good game. He but, was yo, chilling. like, can you like that was another thing that pissed me off as people were like, oh, but they lost though. Like, fuck, who oh, cares, who dog? Cares? <laughs> Why? Niggas lose basketball it's, games it's, sometimes. It's, like, people are so weird. You know how many man. games he done won? Like, this is a comp. This is an accomplishment yeah, over the course though. of his career. Dudes that never even put on a varsity basketball jersey, right. sitting up here critiquing. The guy that just made the score the most points ever, ever in NBA history. Stop it. Yeah. Um, but yeah, man, let's go. A couple more things before we get out of here. The Last of Us show. Yes. Now, I have never played the games. I'm not into that kind of thing. Never wa- didn't watch the show either, but I want you to just kind of tell me about this show and just kind of give us your thoughts on it because I know you played the games. I know you've seen the show. Um, so, so how, how, what is, give me your thoughts on the show and just kind of, you know, give, give us a little rundown of it. Uh, and, and compared, uh, to the game too. So we're going to do a top five, uh, later. Um, and I don't know a way to say this without spoiling my top five. So I'm just going to go ahead and take that L, but <laughs> this is without question the best video game adaptation that I've ever seen. Wow. Was not expecting that. Nothing nothing even comes close, bro. Like it is So two th- so so I'll say this. A lot of this is not a hot take. A lot of people have been saying this, right? I will say though, the one thing that that The Last of Us gets away with is that the game that it's adapting was kind of already a TV show. So it really it was pretty easy. Like they didn't have to take a lot of risks to do to get it right. But where I will give them credit is that oftentimes when it is too easy, you'll have a filmmaker who doesn't give a shit about the source material or doesn't understand the source material that'll just be like, "Oh yeah, no, I played the game, but let's just do this instead. Let's right. just fucking completely <laughs> do some other random shit." <laughs> <laughs> and they and they haven't done that, right? They have made some changes, but the changes have been. I heard uh, Neil Neil Druckmann, who's the person who he. So they they made the the brilliant move of hiring the writer of the game to be the showrunner of the show. So like it's you don't have to worry about getting somebody who doesn't understand the script. Like it's literally the same people. It's the same mm. people that wrote it that's that's doing the show. Um. So. He explained that like it's not a shot for shot remake necess- although in most it kind of is in a lot of in a lot of uh a lot of uh moments but like the changes that they make they've made them to highlight the medium that they're using to tell the story which is TV. There are some stories that work better on TV than they would in a video game. That's the reason why because you see a lot of a lot of people had feelings about episode three. Brief spoilers. 
they talked about uh, Bill, who was a person that you come across early in the game. And it's strongly implied through not even I mean, it's directly implied and confirmed indirectly that Bill was gay uh, and had a partner who was his lover, who he used to who he used to was his like survival partner, but also his romantic partner who ran off and died instead of doing that in the show they told this really quite beautiful like love story between and they like documented it from the beginning of the outbreak until the current day this love story between bill and the person in the game who they never really show at all and they like doc they like highlighted it the entire episode was that and it was it was fucking good man like it was a good like in terms of like dramatic like ass off acting like it was just a really good story um so that was a pretty dramatic change, but it didn't. But it was. But it's, it's not like it wasn't there. In the it game. was absolutely there, and right. it could, for all intent. I mean, it, it wouldn't have happened exactly the same way, but something similar could have happened. But they just used this medium of television to highlight where they could really tell that emotionally gripping of a story. They could do it better than they could in the game. In the game, yeah. And so, bro, like there, and there are some moments where, like, it is a legitimate. Like line for line, shot for shot from the game. For, there are entire scenes that are like they just took the script from the game and put it in front of pa- uh, Pedro Pascal and Bella Ramsey. Was like, all right, here's what you, here's what you're supposed to say. And it's bro, both of them, both of those actors d- have no ass throughout the entire show. They're both <laughs> immediately assless. Um, y'all know how I feel about Joel. The fuck shit is probably about to start happening. Um, we're uh, no spoil. I'm not gonna spoil anything because you know I know people. I know people who are watching who have not watched, who have not played the game, mm. and I know there's people who listen to the podcast who so haven't played the game. So I'm not gonna spoil it. But like, so what? So what do you think would? I guess people who didn't play the game, what what has? Because I've seen a lot of people talking about this show, and and I'm pretty sure that they're not all gamers like that. No, most of the so, people aren't gamers. That's what I'm saying. So what is like bringing people to watch this show that aren't even that didn't even play the game? Because it's a it's a very the video game itself is not very video gamey. You know what I mean? It ain't no monsters or aliens or fucking fighting air combos. It ain't that kind of game. The game itself is already a human centered story that feels like a movie, feels like a TV show already. So there are a lot of people who are watching this and don't even know that it's a game or know that it's a game, but it doesn't really matter from their perspective because it's such a good story by itself. It's 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 a and people love zombies. So there's right? Pro- right. And there's probably like you said, there's probably people that don't even know that it's a game for sure. But it, but people, so one people love zombie st- zombie stories. I don't really like zombies, but this one yeah, is good. Either. This one is 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 good. So imagine like the the hold that The Walking Dead had on people, but like done at a HBO like mm-hmm. HBO budget level, right? Like HBO is that the, what this is on? It's on HBO Max. Yeah. So they brought the whole they brought the check and they they <laughs> like. Check. They got you know top tier actors. There's like hundreds of people that worked on every Isn't episode. Isn't it crazy how how high quality these shows on these on these um, bro? If you these, got the like, budget, luxury networks. Yeah, are, like, HBO, Apple TV, Disney Plus, Disney Plus. Uh, hell yeah, we did just just sh- sh- TV shows were just not made like that. Fuck no, in the dog. Past. Not not even close. They're like movies. Every episode is like it, for sure. Movie I mean, quality. Game of Thrones was like uh, House of the Dragon was like that. Yeah. So this Bro, is why even, to answer your question, this is why people like it. It's just it's just, it's just another high quality prestige HBO show mm-hmm. that just so happens to be based off a video game and and a video game that was already kind of a TV show already. It was very non video gamey video game. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's everything is based in reality. Like everything, even the outbreak is kind of based in reality. So, it's good. I don't know if you would like it, but it it I'm is good. Not a zombie person. Probably yeah. won't watch it, but I don't know. Maybe I could. I could yeah. get suckered in checking it out. And the story is white. I love how they the Pedro. <laughs> there's a lot of white folks in there, not right. you know, kind of white and white people in around sort of. <laughs> uh, but Pedro Pascal is is not white, and I think they have browned the character a little bit. But little he's bit. he's good. I mean, he's he's a good actor. He's Mando, so we trust him. Mando, um, yeah, man. So if you could pick one game 
to get made into a show, what would it be? A show, mm. not a movie. A show. A show. I don't, bro. About abolish TV shows. I'm sorry. Abolish movies. movies only TV, TV shows. shows. You only. know, I kind of feel that way too. I I love these shows, man. Man, me too. I I I'm I would prefer the same thing. I say it again. I said it before, and I'll say it again. Stop making Marvel movies only if they're crossover events. Right. Secret Wars, Infinity War. Those are the movies. Days of Future Past. Those are the movies. Everything else. Everything else is series. Show. Season one, X Men. Season yep. two, okay. Captain America. Yeah, or like, sorry, dope. season one of X Men, and then you got over here season four of Captain America yeah. happening at the same time, right. just like they do in the right. goddamn comic books. Mm-hmm. That's what you got to do, get, and give that them the movie the, budget as that well. Might be the new. Uh, that might be the new. I hope the so. New wave. So to answer your question, the one that I really hope that they could do because it ha- it kind of feels like a, a it. it has the DNA of a show of a game or a story that could become a TV show, but they'd have to have a really good budget. And I've heard that they're doing it and I've heard that they might have Henry Cavill attached to it. It might have to be mass effect, bro. Oh, mass effect. Mass effect with Henry Cavill. Even though I want Shepard to be black because all my shepherds have been black, but if it's Henry Cavill, I'll allow it. Okay. I'll allow it. That's the first one that comes to mind for me. What about you? <laughs> uh, silly question. Ghost of Tsushima. What you talking about? Uh, well, I mean, out. there. You know, I thought you meant one that like we that come isn't on, already man. happening. Well, is Ghost of Tsushima happening? Movie, or yeah, oh, I guess we're talking about TV shows. Show. Yeah. Uh, if I had to pick another one, I I would demand Metal Gear Solid. Um, they're doing that movie too. They are a movie. I mean, it's been, I it's been they, greenlit. I just think they need, like we just said, it's got to be shows, man. Yeah. Well, I just think when they do movies of this stuff, they just try to. It's too much yeah, to try to cram into short, yeah, a, for sure. a few hours, or a couple hours. Oh wait, wait, wait! No, no, no! I missed the easiest one, bro. Horizon, dog. Oh my goodness! Can you Horizon imagine like Horizon show. on fuck on like eight on like yeah, dis or uh, incredible. like I don't know who got the biggest budget, like Apple TV, and you can show nuts. all the. The fucking Thunderjaw goddamn yeah, Mecha Godzilla. <laughs> Fuck. That would be nuts. It would take a lot for them to do that. Yeah, that budget would have to be that crazy. Have to be insane, but it, it could be dope, man. Um, but yeah, man, with that said, let's go. Top five of the daytime. Today's top five. I want to know your top five favorite on screen adaptations of video games so top five favorite video game on screen adaptations it can be a movie it can be a show it can be a cartoon it can be an anime what are your favorite top five video game on screen adaptations which this is kind of a difficult one sometimes because yeah. a lot of times they end up being trash what do you got <laughs> all right i got one honorable mention that i'm going to say but i'm going to keep it vague until i get to number three and you'll okay. see why. So my honorable mention um, is Mortal Kombat. Hey, the 90s movie? I'm not telling. Ah. Keep it vague. Okay, okay. Uh, number five. I, we kind of forgot about this movie, but it, at the time, was kind of the Uh-oh. best movie ever, maybe, of, of a video game. Bro, Detective Pikachu. Hey. <laughs> We forgot about that movie. We I feel did like forget bro. about that movie, and it was actually doing it was really good. good. It was yeah. really good. I was I, have, I was shocked I've at how been, good it was. I've been actually like craving a live action Pokemon movie ever since they made bro, it. Bro, and and uh, like the only thing that I think we talked about was I wish they could have made it more about the battles, which would have been dope. That would have been. That's what they needed to do for they sure. Needed to kind of make it more about the battles. But it was it was like yo I. I fuck with this. This is cool. Like they <laughs> found a way to make this shit look kind of interesting. I'm here for it. They really did. Um, I'm gonna cheat here a little bit. I know uh, novelist hates it when I do this, but I ah boy, because <laughs> uh, they they feel so connected. I'm gonna go number four with the Sonic movie series, both one and two. Yeah, okay, that's fine. If I had to pick one, I would do I would do number two because of Knuckles, but like just together. And and also seeing like Robotnik in his full form, um, and again those Sonic movies, man, they're they good. Were, they were good, shockingly great. Yes, and they listened to feedback on how fucking awful that in, did, initial and they design they was. Actually, <laughs> that shit was <laughs> creepy. I, who who allowed that to I happen? Have no idea, Bruh. People are just doing weird stuff. 
Let's give him human teeth and. Uh, All right, weird. bro. Number three, Mortal Kombat. Let's go. But which one is which? Which oh. one is the honorable mention, and oh. which one is number three? For me, my number three. The original dog. Let's go. The 90s. Your brother's soul is mine. <laughs> <laughs> original Mortal Kombat, dog. Man, that movie's so sweet still. Um, dog, it's just I so so that would mean that would mean that the uh honorable mention is the HBO show. Uh I like that. I think we liked it more than other people did, but it was good. Uh, it had like legitimate scrapping in it and it did. I had the kind of ridiculous, wacky stuff. Now, the only thing I didn't like is I wish they could have. I didn't love the Daniel or the um, uh, who's our guy, uh, Louis Tan. I didn't like oh, his yeah. like that random ass original character. Yeah, like, me neither. Just I make think, him turn him into why ain't somebody. Y'all just make him into a uh, Luke Kang or, or whatever. Or I don't just, know. Yeah, that was weird. Uh, number two, here's a good one: The Witcher. Hey, <laughs> uh, ass off for Gerald. Fuck. Um, uh oh. No, I was just saying that's oh. what he says. Fuck. <laughs> uh, I am very disappointed that they are talking of not. Yeah, no, he's gone. That's so wack. They they need to not even try to do the show then. Nope they got they got baby Thor as uh as the new Gerald. I, I'm actually not that, that worried about it. I think he's I think he's a pretty good actor. Nah, It'll be man, fine. You can't just. I mean, if you just ignore the fact that it's suddenly a different person. A different guy. <laughs> <laughs> it's not the same person. Yeah. Uh, I don't like when they do that. Just no, that's weird. change the character or something. I thought, I actually learned. Now, this is interesting. This is, so we all, we've lear- we're learning that, um, that Henry Cavill is a real nerd. Um, but I thought the reason why he was leaving was to go back to the DCEU, which he ended up getting fired from anyways. Um, uh, James Gunn, I'm... <sighs> I'm very curious about what this is going to look like. What's going on? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I, so, so why did he leave The Witcher? He left The Witcher to do a Warhammer movie, and that's a that's a a, a property that I don't really know a lot about. Do you know? Do you fuck Warhammer, with Warhammer at all? Warhammer is a I mean, table, I, tabletop I know it, game. It's also a video game too. It's okay. like the the world comes from the tabletop game, but I think they've made several video games about okay. it as well. I've never played the video games, but I do know about the the rpg tabletop yeah and so he's like apparently he's like really really into that into that so and he's he's gonna i'm not not mad at that then yeah no me neither if that's something that he's into i just i wish i knew more about the the, apparently it's like really them niggas are like really sweaty it's like a real big like huge universe yeah it's like on some dungeons and dragons type stuff but like but like in space right and they're like i think there's like a lot going on oh really yeah I thought when I see, I thought it's Dungeons and Dragons, but there's also like like mechs and like yeah, it is. And there's shit. like robots and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Word. So if so, anybody in the Discord who's got some uh, some Warhammer tech, uh, put us on game. Uh, is there like a is there a comic? I'm sure there's probably everything. Comic, a book, a TV yeah. show. Put us on game. Uh, and then I already talked about it. Number one, The Last of Us, bro. It's good. It's really good. The best. Can't lie. Wow, I know. It surprised me too, but like, it, who they, are you? I, I <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I never liked. I never disliked the game. I just don't like the character. Word. And all of y'all are about to find out. All you motherfuckers who haven't played the game are about to find out why. So just keep watching. Oh boy, keep watching. So yeah, boom, boom. Like it, man. All right, let's go. I have some honorable mentions real quick okay and remember this is including um you know whatever movies shows cartoons anything all right first honorable mention you know i really wanted to get this one on my list but i just <laughs> couldn't quite pull couldn't it off. quite pull it off dog not gonna be able to do no. it cyberpunk edge runner oh man. did i forget about <laughs> that one maybe I don't know. Did you? Oh. <laughs> um, and honestly, I'm going to be honest. I think if I would have like, because, you know, I didn't play Cyberpunk because I don't like first person games. Yeah. If I would have maybe been more into the game, this would have probably made my list because the anime was fire. Wait a minute. Amendment, bro. Uh, I- <laughs> 
I got a <sighs> amendment. Let's go, Detective Pikachu. I love you, and you were a fantastic movie. And we did. We have forgotten about you. We need to give you more credit, but. I forgot about Cyberpunk, bro. That's got to go on my list, dog. Yeah. Cyberpunk coming into number five, Edge Runners. Let's go. Man, good call. I can't believe I forgot. That shit saved the entire. Fr- it, bro, not only did it, it no, save the it franchise, did. it saved two franchises. It saved it saved Cyberpunk and The Witcher because Facts. CD Projekt Red was finna. Sh- they're about to be done after yeah. this. So Facts, shout out to, to Edge Runner. <sighs> I hate to do this. My other honorable mention. Uh oh. The Sonic movies. Oh, Sonic. I got kind of some deep cuts on here. Sonic okay. movies. Loved both of them. Honorable mention. Let's go. Coming in at number five, just because I'm trying to kind of link these with the games that I really mess with, right? Mm-hmm. So, coming in number five, I'm gonna go with the Dragon Quest Adventures of Die anime. Fire. Uh, yeah, yeah. That's is that the newer the new one? one? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. It's okay. so good. Yeah, it is yeah. really. It's dope. I. Uh, I've been watching it. I uh, love the anime. I'm a Dragon Quest fan, um, and the anime is really, really dope. So uh, I'm going with Dragon Quest Adventures of Die at number five. Number four, the 90s Mortal Kombat movie. Let's go. Of course. Come on, now. <laughs> that movie still, if it weren't for Sonic, yeah, that would be the greatest video game movies ever made. Yep. No questions asked. Um, hey, you didn't have Super Mario movie on your list from the 90s. Mm, that's How a come- guilty pleasure of mine, but no. <laughs> no. I do. I, I like love. I like hate watch that movie because <laughs> it's a fun it's a fun movie to rent on like a fucking Bro, what's Friday happening in that movie what I don't know do? dog <laughs> <laughs> they fucking out, bro. I that literally movie is so weird. I have no idea. Like they find a meteor, and then it somehow takes them to another dimension for some reason. Yeah, that movie is so and weird. Toad is a is a, a fucking a like prisoner, a prisoner w- with a weird ass like Timmy haircut, <laughs> and be playing a guitar for some reason. <laughs> then they turn that nigga into a, a Goomba, <laughs> bro. And then uh, that movie is weird. And then Mario gets the the rocket boots. Like, at the club for some reason like a guy with yeah dennis fucking hopper <laughs> <laughs> famous ass actor and shit playing playing gerald bowser nigga. <laughs> ronald bowser <laughs> <laughs> oh man that is a weird silly movie. and then uh Luigi. and then yoshi's randomly like a, born from an egg yeah he's, he's like, like a like dragon a or dinosaur. something yeah he's like a fuck he's the he's the velociraptor from fucking oh, uh jurassic, jurassic park. park oh my uh, Mario is a is a actual Italian plumber, Act, bro. Anthony Hopkins was ass off as fucking that movie. He was excellent as Mario, <laughs> dog. It, was, it just was a silly ass movie. John uh, Guizamo is uh, yeah, Luigi, kind of young hip hop Luigi. Yeah, <laughs> I had the toy. Remember the toys? Yeah, the bro. rocket boots on. Yeah, the rocket boots that he got from Big Bertha in the club. Oh, you remember man. that? Am I gonna watch this? Movie, that movie dog? was kind of fire, I'm dog. Go, <laughs> I'm gonna go home and watch it. It's a it's a nice, ridiculous '90s I'm movie to watch, over, watch over it. some pizza it on is. a Friday night, yeah, bro. It is. That, that's true. Um, but coming in at number, th- uh, well, that Mortal Kombat was number three for me. Coming in, wait, I think that was number four for you. Yeah, it was number four. Cool, you Someone number up? three. Oh my! You <laughs> <laughs> forgot how but to do numbers. Coming in at number three, man. I gotta go with The Witcher. Let's go. Fire show, super disappointed that Henry Cavill is leaving. The yeah. game's awesome. He plays Geralt so well that Bro, you can't yes. even play the game because you want it to be Henry Cavill. Yeah, no, Geralt. fuck the guy who originally played yeah, Geralt. Like it's, it's like not it's, even close. It's crazy. Yeah, um, you so literally much want Henry Cavill in the game, and I'm sure there's some game modders out here who have modded The Witcher Three and put him in there. Instead. No doubt. Um, and I would love to play a rendition like that. Yeah. Um, the, <laughs> I used to play Witcher Three and get so annoyed. There would be times when I would be like <laughs> trying to, like, w- like somebody would be talking and he would just be <laughs> <laughs> he just wouldn't stop moving. Yeah. <laughs> And I'll be like sprinting, sprinting past people, and I'm trying to right, like talk to, to talk them. and like jumping over people by accident. <laughs> that game was sweet, but that world was just so fucking. It big. was huge, it was and so I, big, and man. I also like just I just that game had so much going on, and that and it was so early, like there weren't really. 
That game was really like revolutionary, man. Yeah. It was a lot of stuff was ahead of its time. Also, um, a lot of revisionist history here. That game sucked when it first came out. It they it was yeah, kind of you a, said that it was kind of a broken game, similar, kind of like how Cyberpunk, to Cyberpunk was. Yeah, yeah. I, I think that it was probably the same. The only difference was that Cyberpunk had crazy hype, and The Witcher didn't. Mm -hmm. But it, but Cyberpunk had the hype because of how sweet The Witcher turned out to be once they yeah. finished it. And now Cyberpunk has kind of gotten to the point where it's almost as good as what the how The Witcher got to right. the finish line. So, boom, coming in at number two, the Street Fighter Two anime from the nineties. Oh, uh, come on, that, <laughs> that movie, that is movie is fire, bro. So great, it is fantastic. One of my favorite nineties animes. One ever. The, it's, it is. It's legit. One of the best nineties. That that is. I put that movie in the same tier that I put Ninja Scroll and Ghost in the Shell. Ooh. And um, what are what are some other nineties anime movies that were just Akira really, is technically Akira is eighties, but we saw it in the nineties. Yeah, I put yeah. that in there. I put this Street Fighter movie in that same. You know, Princess mm -hmm. Mononoke. Okay, mm -hmm. that same because this was something that we were watching in that same around that same time, man. Yep. That we were all super obsessed with, and and that that movie is awesome. So I'm putting that there. Yeah. Introduced us to Evil Kin. Sure did. He introduced us to Fei Long, voiced by Brian dog, Cranston. So random. It's so random, dog. So random. Uh, but coming in, number one. Come on, guys. We know. What are we doing? The Pokemon anime. Come on, now. Easy, easy, easy pick. I am I love Pokemon. I love the anime. Um, if I had to pick a specific one, I mean, you already know X, Y, Z, in my opinion, is the GOAT. But I also love, um, ooh, uh, Master Quest, man. That was the yeah. season where he battles Gary, mm -hmm. uh, the Blastoise versus Charizard, and yeah, Ash finally yeah, wins. Finally. And, that, and that was, uh, and that's when uh, Gary. He, know, like, retires after that, Yeah, that's right? when he goes off to be, he wants to be a, a, a Pokemon scientist, a researcher, or whatever, and then. And also, like Gary was such an asshole. He was, but not there. That's when they. Oh no, no! I was just saying early. Yeah, on, early, early on, on, he was a yeah. jerk. But that's when they like became friends, and he's really like so many of Ash's rivals are. They treat him like crap, and I'd so annoying. And Gary was actually like, you know, they were actually kind of became friends at the end. So yeah, but yeah, obviously, Pokemon anime number one. Come on, that's my top five. Dragon Quest Adventures of Die, the anime number five, the Mortal Kombat movie from the 90s, number four, The Witcher, number three, two, the Street Fighter anime, number one, it's Pokemon, the anime. Let's go, man. The sword cast is back, finally. Back on deck. Great episode, yes, man. Sir. Uh, thank you all for listening. Vagabond EP out now. Um, and we will catch you all next time. Peace. Yeah.